Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 23rd of 2019. Well, it is titled NGC 1499, the California Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of an emission nebula. And this one is known by a couple of names. First of all, a catalog designation of NGC 1499 for the new general catalog of objects that are not stars. So essentially a catalog to thousands of objects that were not stars. They could be galaxies. They could be star clusters, they could be nebulae, as was the case here. Now the original work on this catalog was done back in the late 1800s. And one thing we have to realize is that at that time, we really didn't completely understand what all of these objects were. We could tell that they were different, but we really didn't have the understanding that a spiral nebula, which we now call a spiral galaxy, was really a, another galaxy, uh, much like our own Milky Way. That was something that realization would not would still be a number of decades away. So anything that didn't look like a star was kind of grouped into this catalog. So we'll find all sorts of objects there from again star clusters to nebulae such as the one we're looking at today uh, to even other galaxies. Now as I said this is an example of an emission nebula. An emission nebula occurs because the gas is emitting light and that is caused by the ultraviolet radiation from a hot star nearby. So the bright blue star near this image is actually emitting a lot of ultraviolet radiation that excites the atoms causes them to glow. What it does is it strips the electrons off of the hydrogen atoms. A hydrogen atom consists of one proton and one electron. So when you strip the electron off all that's left is a proton. Now the protons can't do too much but eventually over time they will recombine with an electron and as that happens it will jump through various energy levels. And each of those gives off a very specific wavelength of light. For hydrogen, one of the primary ones in the visible portion of the spectrum is red. So we get this very distinct red light that we see when hydrogen atoms are recombining. So it's a continuing process. Hydrogen atoms are being stripped of their electrons and other hydrogen atoms are recombining with those electrons, giving us this red glow and giving it the and happening the way the material is distributed, giving it a shape that has a vague re resemblance to the state of California. Now it's not only an emission nebula, we can also see some portions of dark nebula there as well, especially towards the left hand side. And those darker areas are denser concentrations of material where the light is blocked out, and could likely be regions of star formation. So quite a bit that we get to see in our image today. Of course, we see some of the stars, we get to see the California nebula, and some dark nebulae, a dark portions of a nebula as well. So that was our picture of the day for August the 23rd of 2019. It was titled NGC 1499, the California Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be millions of stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.